I've got to kill Sub Zero next. He's not gonna be easy. Um, okay. Watch out. Him. Give me the psychic. Whoa! Uh, Jay, you missed him. Um, Give me something, Jay. He's gonna rip your head off. Well, well, well. <laughs> what have we here? A place full of children and all spending money. I'm going to be rich. Very rich. <laughs> uh, anyone got any more money? No, no. It's a waste of money, Jay. Oh, please, Ayanda, please, 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 please. No! Anyway, we've got to go now. It's late. Okay, come. Whoa, what about that game. one? Look at that game! I want to go on that one, please! Tell come. us about that game, Jay! It's called Mortal Kombat with Sub Zero and all of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah. I mean, the thing about Mortal Kombat is the brilliant pictures. It's, it's, so it's big. Yeah. It looks like butter. Just, just hanging there in the sky. It's, oh. it's just like a video game I once played. Come on, it's getting late. You better hurry. on the moon. People have walked on that little blob in the sky. It's not a blob. It's a whole world running round and round in space. I'd like to go to the moon. I'd make a map over the craters. I'd sing a song. A moon song. It would be a very silent song. On the moon there's no atmosphere to carry the sound. I would sing it to myself. Above me the stars blaze bright in the night And look, guys look, there's a comet in sight And now in the east it's time for the earth to rise Like a jewel in the dark, like a bright blue surprise It was lonely at first up here on the moon I'm not lost. I'm not lost. I'm not lost. I'm lost. Jay? Want so far from home? Ayanda, Jay, I need a hand with supper. And where's Jay? He was right here. Jay, he's not here, Ayanda. Maybe he's gone in. It's getting a bit cold. He's not inside and he's not outside either. He was right here behind us playing his saxophone, Mum. You heard him, didn't you, Spider? Yes, but uh, but we... what? Thinking back on it now. It seems to me that when he started playing, he stopped walking. Ayanda, I think we've left Jay behind you. Oh, Ayanda, Jay's lost. He could be anywhere by now, Ayanda. I'm sorry, ma'am. Sorry's not going to get Jay back. Listen, 
they are going to have to go look for him. Spider, you and Ayanda can go down Main Street. Frankie can check the side street and I'll... Ma? Shush, Ayanda! I didn't say anything, Mom. Ma, it's me, Jay. No! You are too young to join the search party, Jay. And anyway, it's time for your... Jay? It's you! You're back all day, Tanami! <laughs> But Baboon so loved fire that he ignored the pleas of all the other animals. Hey, hey, he said. And he took his big block of shiny cords and from it struck sparks that fell on the fell and started the biggest fire the land had ever known. Baboon danced and clapped his hands as sparks rose into the sky and turned into stars. I've got to go, but I can't. You can run the moment Prajo's finished. Hey? Baboon loved that fire. For all the other animals, it was a terror. They fled from it in panic. Some stumbled and died in the flames. At last, the creator took pity on the animals and he caused the rain to fall on the flames and put them out. Then he appeared before Baboon and he said, I gave you the gift of fire, but you have used it to cause pain and suffering among all my creatures. So now, I take that gift back. And he took the piece of cords that Baboon had used to make his fire and uh, he threw it into the sky and it became the moon, white and shiny. And he said to Baboon, At night when you look up at the sky, you will see the stars and the moon and you will remember the power you once had and that you have no longer. That will be your punishment. Mm, that was a lovely story, Bracho. I look at the moon, I remember that people have walked on it. What story are you telling me now? No, it's not a story, it's the truth. Spaceships have gone to the moon and men have walked on it. And Nonsense. How can a man walk on something so small? Right, Joe. Don't try to make a fool of me. I know what's what. And I know that the moon's too small for a man to stand on. Look at it. It's a little ball up there, not much bigger than my thumbnail. When you get closer to it, it's a lot bigger, Brajo. Talking nonsense. Wait, wait, wait a second, guys. The only way to solve this argument is to see the moon from close up ourselves. And I'll take you there. My dear sir, I'm afraid I want this old age home now. I'm sorry, but your people will have to be out in one month. My lawyer is drawing up the eviction notices this week. <laughs> the happy autumn home is about to become the biggest video arcade in town. The planetarium was great. They showed us photos of the first person on the moon. And you know what, Mama Bones? They, we even saw photographs of the planet Mars. One day, we'll all be able to travel to the moon. Aye, not me. I wish we could go to the moon today. Sharp idea. Why don't we build our own rocket, eh? Yeah, we can put pictures of the moon and the planets in the windows. Then we can pretend we are ah, in space. That would be like having our own planetarium. Mm. Great. We start first thing in the morning. 
The rocket will need a nose cone and a door with a window. It's got to look fantastic. We've got a lot of work to do. <laughs> 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 Ooh, this is gonna be a great rocket. Hey, look what yeah. I found! What's that spider? Rocket fuel! <laughs> is it really rocket fuel? Yes, it really is rocket fuel. The most powerful, the most concentrated, the most efficient fuel ever made. Wow, really? And this fuel is worth a million rand a litre. Oh. And you say it's rocket fuel? Super rocket fuel. Powerful enough to send the spaceship to the moon. I know it's valuable, but a million rand a litre? Easily a million. Or maybe more. Do you realize how much money people would be willing to pay just to find out about this fantastic fuel? Uh -huh. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we've got to build our spaceship. Come on. Okay. <laughs> a million a liter. What would rocket fuel be doing in the warehouse? It might just be possible. Some inventor tinkering with a chemical formula. Producing rocket fuel in secret, stashing away a hoard, dying in poverty, the secret going with him to the grave. A million rounds a litre! Mr. Agrippa, yes. you wanted to see me? Yes, come listen to this. Listen to me. That kid spider, she's found some extra special, powerful stuff. Rocket fuel in that warehouse of hers. Rocket fuel? It's true. And it's worth a lot of money. A million rounds a litre. Mm. The more I think about it, the more I think it might be worth a little prowl. Hmm? Meet me at the warehouse tonight. <laughs> Follow me, Brother Joe. Hey, where you left to patch there, Ayanda? I'm getting to it, don't worry. It's looking pretty good. Hey, <laughs> you know, it looks fantastic. There, finished. Wait, ta-da! <laughs> Here's a window. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, it's it, yeah. Ah, yo, yo. This is very, very interesting, Brother Joe. Oh, look at the time. Oh, come on, Jay, let's get home. Ma will be sending a search okay. party. Yeah, right, right. I better go too. Oh, I'm gonna get this. Spider, I'm going to bring my music machine so we've got real sound for the Just launch. Just be back here bright and early tomorrow morning. We still have a lot of work to do before we can... Launch into the heavens! <laughs> Brother Joe, let's meet here again tomorrow night, huh? Right. Where did you get that? Fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. I bought it at the planetarium. I brought some books I found at the library, like you said, Spider. Perfect! And I got these magazines at that sale down by the library gardens. Ten cents each, man. And they're full of pictures of the stars and the planet. We'll need them all, Frankie. What's the ball for, Spider? It's the moon. Well, after we've blasted off, we have to move through space, you know? Oh, I see. 
The rocket's just taken off. I look through the window. What's the first thing I see? The Earth way below, uh -huh. getting smaller and smaller as you get further and further away. And the moon getting bigger and bigger yeah. as we move closer and closer to it. Right. So we've got to stick the right sort of pictures onto these. Find pictures of the big Earth and the little sun. We've got the Earth on this poster. I'll cut it out. And when we zoom past the moon and we look back, what do we see? Uh, the moon and the Earth. I'll do the moon. Yeah. And then when we turn right and swoop up here and we look back and see? The moon and the Earth and the sun. I'll make the Earth and the sun. And when we're not looking at the Earth and the moon and the sun, we're looking at the stars, right? Don't forget the, uh, the planets, Mars and Venus and Saturn and all the rest of them. I'll do Saturn. How big is the moon? Well, it's bigger than a thumbnail. <laughs> yes, but is it bigger than the Earth or, or is the Earth bigger than the moon? And is the sun bigger than the Earth? Does it matter? We can just do them any old time and it'll be okay. No! If we're gonna do it, we've gotta do it right. Well, it seems to me that the Earth is the biggest of them all and the moon and the sun go around us. I'd say the moon is smaller than the sun. But because it's nearer, it looks about the same from where we are. No, no, it's not like that. Everything doesn't go around us, it just looks that way. We go around the sun, earth, moon, stars, Jupiter and everything else. Mm, but which is the biggest, the earth, the moon or the sun? We're the biggest, it's obvious. I think the sun's the biggest, stuck in the middle there. And we all go in circles around. Ah, that doesn't help much. We still don't know what it's really like up there. I'm sure there was a picture in here that showed the sun and the planets all in a row. Here it is. Look. All right, Brother Joseph, let's go. Time to make a million. And if that spider tries to interfere, you know what to do. Wait for our first lift off. Yeah, let's make our lift off time at precisely uh, 7 p.m. Yeah, that gives us time to organize sound, mm -hmm. and I must bring my camera. That's a great idea, Frankie. We're back at 7 for our test launch. Right, let's go. Come on, come on. <laughs> the door is locked, Mr. Agrippa. Don't just stand there. Break it open! Will you look that? Hi, Frankie! Oh, hi, Spider. Mm -hmm. Hi, guys. I got my camera yeah. and I've got a fantastic new sound effects cassette, guys. <laughs> I've made a megaphone! <laughs> <laughs> look, I found some more Christmas lights. Oh, we need them. Can I be the first one to go in? Please? Oh, look out for that spider. You look for the rocket fuel. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'll have to look in here, Mr. Agrippa. Quickly, get on with it. The lock is broken. There's someone in there. Oh, it looks very dark inside here, Mr. Agrippa. Can you see the rocket fuel? Oh, it's here, Mr. Agrippa. Well, bring it out, bring it out. It's Mr. Agrippa. Mm -hmm. I think Mr. Agrippa is looking for a light to the moon. Oh, very happy, <laughs> Mr. Agrippa. Oh. <laughs> Got your head in my tummy! Thirty seconds! Now you just listen to me! Imagine, you'll be the first South Africans in orbit! Think how famous you'll be! Brother Joe, I think we've been kidnapped! Now listen to me, Spider! I will not permit this! This is an Outrage! Who's got the picture of the earth and the sun? Okay, now we move it back very slowly. 
Now there's a sight few men have ever seen. Look, Brother Joseph, the earth and the sun. Isn't it remarkable? <laughs> Mr. Agrippa, I feel a bit sick. All I want to do is go home. And what is even more remarkable than the view is the thought of the rocket fuel those brats stumbled upon. Imagine a fuel so powerful that in a matter of seconds it has propelled us millions of kilometers into space. Do you have any idea how much that must be worth? Brother Joe, when we get back to Earth, we get back to Earth, we're going to take that fuel away from those silly kids. Our fortunes will be made. We'll be millionaires. What was that? A, a little meteorite, I think. Sounds like someone knocking me, Doug. No, <laughs> no. How could anyone be knocking out here? Millions of kilometers from anywhere else. The Joseph, did you hear that? I wish I'd never come. <laughs> it sounds like an alien to me, Brother Joseph. Hey, the light on, Ayanda. We want to paint Mr. Agrippa dies on Friday. Shut up, you two, and get out! <laughs> Spider? What? We, I think we've been tricked to Mr. Agrippa. Oh. 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 So, so, I take it there's no rocket fuel? No! And, and I suppose you heard everything I said? Everything! <laughs> well, listen to me, children. I'm, I'm quite willing to <clears throat> forget about this little practical joke of yours if you promise not to tell anyone about it. Telling everyone's half the fun. Why, you little brat, give me that camera. Uh, I'm not enjoying this so much, Frankie. Yeah. Let's go home. Mm. Space games aren't nearly as interesting when you've made your own spaceship. Yeah. <laughs> Come, I've got a better idea. Come, let's go. Mom kills it. Hey. You! Hey, look at the moon! Hey, hey. Hey, my this is nice! The loot, Mom kills it! Hey! Mom kills it! We are finally back! <laughs> It is a good thing Mr. Grouper bought my camera. The new one's much better. <laughs> Mr. Agrippa. Not now, Roger. Your lawyers has sent these eviction letters for you to sign. They're not important anymore. Isn't the moon beautiful tonight? to Spider's comic and video shop. Hey, this is all about us. It's all about Spider's play. Here's me. There's a comic, a video, and an audio cassette for each of our adventures. And we buy them from you? Sure. Or write to Handspring Trust at 1 Magnet Street, Kensington, Johannesburg, 2094. Hmm? Mm -hmm. 